Dawson Dilks, Tyler Humphreys, Hudson Cooper. It's that trio is amazing to watch. It's going to... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's an off already. That's an off on the warm-up lap. I can't believe it. We've got drama before the race has even got underway. And it's absolutely a enraged. Let's have a look. Oh, he got cut across, look. So the rider that he was following just cut oh. across him on the way out of Ashby, and he fell. I'm afraid to say... That is Hudson Cooper's championship in tatters before he's even turned a lap of racing this weekend. The race is going to get underway without him. So it's going to be Wilson Dilks versus Tyler Humphreys. First blood to Wilson Dilks, I should say, in qualifying. Now it's just going to be the two men battling for it. Here we go. This is not going to be easy to call now as away we go. Tyler Humphreys has been beaten off the line by Frankie Watson. Frankie Watson's made a good start of it. So Frankie Watson is now your leader, but Tyler Humphreys is coming straight back at him. Let's see if it continues on. Very tricky start, but look at Frankie Watson. He looks so much more composed after the misery of three sisters. He now has a real chance this weekend, and he knows it. Wilson Dilks obviously battling with Tyler Humphreys, and Frankie Watson in the mix there. But out in front, it's all about the 85. Wilson Dilks trying to take points off Tyler Humphreys in this championship fight. Now, Wilson Dilks had a bit of an issue with his transponder initially, but he is the one in front of Tyler Humphreys in the lead at the moment. That's why I got a little bit confused about Frankie Watson's presence. But uh, with Tyler Humphreys coming into the weekend on 190 and Wilson Dilks coming in on 158, again, there's only 100 points available and the top three go through to the Junior World Series. So it's a really important moment for all three riders in this fight. And Frankie Watson has now got a big opportunity because with Hudson Cooper going down, that's a potential top three for him. Anybody can be affected by that. So Tyler Humphreys still hustling Wilson Dilks. The gap between them, 32 oh. points. Red flags, red flags. So we have a red flag. Something has happened that has brought out the Reds. I'd quite like to see it again if we got the chance, actually, now that we're under red flags, because that's championship changing. This is on the formation lap before the start of that race. That's now, look, angle that. it is a long angle. Right. So this could be a revealing angle. The bike in front is Tyler Humphreys. The bike behind is Hudson Cooper. And look, he just draws across and bang. There is nothing really that either rider can do in that situation. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I think he just tried turning. Now, we're going to see another... Now, this is another angle. There you go. That's another interesting angle of it. But again, that shows to me that that's two riders just being in the same place on the racetrack at the same time. I mean, imagine what it was like if that was you. You would be so, so angry in that situation, wouldn't you? Hudson's just got to the grid. Well, that is fascinating. Yeah, look, he is. Oh, Hudson wow. Cooper's trying to rejoin from the pit lane. Well, the, the only way that's possible is if they've had time to check his bike, and if they think it's okay, look, Hudson Cooper's going, can I go to the grid? Can I go to the grid? I, my bike's fine. Trust think, me, my he, bike's fine. I think it's been checked over in that red flag. Yeah, he really cannot afford to let this chance go. That looks like Ollie O'Gorman's now being told he can ride as well. Well, yeah, I mean, if, if there's... Yeah, look, Ollie O'Gorman is getting himself ready at the end of the pit lane as well. Someone else has just run off. Hudson's now not there. Yeah, Hudson isn't He'll there. He'll have to be medical medical check. <gasps> oh, right. So maybe they've got to medical check. Well, this is fascinating. So we are going around. Is this the start or is this a... Well, it's got to be a formation lap, hasn't it? Yeah, that. but maybe if Hudson will be allowed to ride just not from warm-up lap. That's all I can think. Yeah, I mean, maybe they can just quickly assess him in the medical centre, but I don't think he's going to have the time to do it. Ma, that is... A big disaster for Hudson Cooper, if that's the case. Because the bike is cleared to race. That's is Hudson cleared to race? That's the thing. Well, Ollie O'Gorman looks like he's in there and back in, uh, up and running again. There's Wilson Dilks. So he's obviously the man who gets to benefit the most from all of this. Because his nearest championship contender behind him, Hudson Cooper, is very nearly confirmed as not restarting. I say very nearly because, you know, stranger things have happened in the past. There is a good chance that he may still get the chance. If they can clear him in the next 10 seconds and he can get back out on the bike, then uh, he might just be able to start the race from the pit lane. He wouldn't be able to take it from the grid. I haven't seen him run back into... Looks like they're oh, going he's around. There, he's there. Yeah, they're going around for a second formation lap. So here he comes. Here comes Hudson Cooper. He's literally... We're literally getting a Hollywood drama playing out in the pit lane here. As yes. Hudson Cooper has run from the medical centre, they flagged them around for a second formation lap to give him a chance to get in the bike 
and get ready for... To be honest... Is he going to go around for a second formation? He is. He's just left the pits. I don't, I don't, to be honest, I don't think it was just to let him. I think because of how long they were waiting to let them get some heat in the tyres. And coincidentally, that just helped. That just helped him out a bit. Well, Hudson Cooper, it does look as though he is going to get a chance to restart. Well, what a drama. There he is, Hudson Cooper. The bike's been checked, he's been checked, and he's going around on the formation lap, so he should be able to take his place at the back of the grid to restart. What a crazy race. And we haven't even probably done any racing yet, really. Well, we did the first two laps, and then we had the uh, red flag for Ollie O'Gorman and uh, Chloe Gleeson. In the FIM class is one of, well, probably the most important Yeah, absolutely. Classes, so you're so obviously going to... And it's good that everything's been dealt with right. Yeah, it's all been done by the book. It's all made sure that everybody's okay. But it's also giving these riders who have put so much hard work, so much money, so much time, so much energy, so much enthusiasm to give them the chance to race. Look, this isn't the World Championships yet. These kids have put so much in. If the bike's okay, if he's okay, and we've got time to do it, put and him in. And, and that's exactly what they've done. And he's taking his original grid position. Wow. Oh, here we go. And Hudson's dad been running up and down, trying to find out if he can go. And taking his original grid position is quite lucky as well. So now we've got the top four riders in the championship together again. Dilks, Humphreys, Cooper, Watson. This is where it's going to be big stuff. Tyler Humphreys in the championship lead. Will he stay there at the end of this round? At the end of this race, he certainly will. Olio Garman is still um, at the front of that. Well, let, Ollie's like in it as well now. He is indeed. Let's see how it goes. It's not a great start for Wilson Dilks. It's a brilliant start for Humphreys and for Cooper. But Dilks gets Cooper back again on the restart. And Watson gets ahead of Hudson Cooper as well. Maybe Hudson Cooper just being a little bit tentative then on the first couple of laps to dial his rhythm back in after a nasty fall. He's in fourth position, but he can rebuild from there. He's down to fifth though. So maybe the bike is not all well after all. Hudson Cooper dropping back. Trying to get himself back into it, but Hudson Cooper is struggling on this first lap. I think that's down to sixth position now. I, th I think it'll be mind games, to be honest. Yeah, it could well be his mental agility coming into this one. Could be something with the bike. Frankie, he will certainly rather blame it on the bike. <laughs> Frankie Watson's still up there. He's not that far off him as well. No, in third position, and that's critical for Frankie Watson to take full advantage of what opportunities he's been given here. But Tyler Humphreys, championship leader, is leading the race here from Wilson Dilks, Frankie Watson. Then in fourth position, that is Lucas King ahead of Joshua Herring and Hudson Cooper P6 now in front of Dan Stevenson. Ollie O'Gorman, incredible that he's been able to restart. Then Leo Hams, Harry Rafferty and Ollie Everts. So just one absentee and that is rather sadly Chloe Gleason, but hopefully she'll be back for race two. But now Wilson Dilks, who had the pressure of no pressure at all in the original start. Now he's got to go, uh, try and get past Tyler Humphreys. He does not need to let Tyler Humphreys' lead get any bigger. It's already at 32 points. He does not need to let it get to 37. Through to the boot. Wilson Dilks hunting this overtake on Tyler Humphreys. He knows he can beat him because he was ahead of him on the original start. But on this restart, things have got very different. It's a full restart, I notice. So uh, the original start does not count for anything. So Tyler Humphreys is your leader. Wilson Dilks in second. Third is Frankie Watson. Then it's Herring, King, Stevenson. Hudson Cooper down to seventh place now. Pitch in the Matrix says, I'm so amazed these kids can ride this well at this age. Yeah, it's a good point. I mean, in this paddock, we've got riders as young as eight. Yeah, um... I only started two, maybe three years ago. But some of these riders, like you said, seven, eight, round that, and to have the confidence to be going at them speeds at that age must be. Well, I I was actually scared of motorbikes bikes till four, five years ago. I mean, considering so, now you're only twelve now, so it just shows you how things are in terms of, you know, the bravery you need to race at this level. The mini motors are so impressive as well, though. The, their lap times are absolutely immaculate. Incredible. Right, Wilson Dilts getting his chance here on Tyler Humphreys. He's not going to go ugly early. Building up to the move. Greasy conditions. Tricky situation for all the riders here. Frankie Watson still third in front of Joshua Herring.
So it's going to be an interesting one to see if Wilson Dilks can get on terms here with Tyler Humphreys. 25 points for the win, 20 for second, 16 for third, then 13, 11, and then it's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all the way down to 15th place with one point. So, so there's a lot of points how, in the how offing. How much will Hudson be getting? Well, Hudson in his Cooper in position. seventh would be looking at only nine points at this moment. Not it's, really how he, how he wants it to be, is it? No, it's definitely well off where he needs to be. Wilson Dilks got a little bit of a jerk on the throttle prior to where the turning was. There's so Tyler Humphrey's able to run, but there is Hudson Cooper on looks, the inset. It looks like he's back on it now, but he seems a lot of a way off of, off of um, six, that will yeah, be. Yeah, well, he needed, he needed a couple of laps more to dial himself back in again, didn't he? Because that was a big jolt. He's 4.6 seconds away from Lucas King. He's actually in sixth place now rather than seventh. So he's now got himself 10 points if he stays where he is. But ultimately, he doesn't want to stay where he is. And of course, if anything happens to these two, then it's game on again. And we know how feisty Wilson Dilks is when it comes to Tyler Humphreys. And it's not like the original start when Dilks had the advantage on Humphreys. Dilks has got to go for Humphreys. He cannot afford to lose points to him. He's got to take points off him. Four races to go. You can't afford to let that lead get any bigger. 32 points. It's almost a third of the amount of points that are available in the weekend. So you cannot afford to lose more points. Here comes the chance. Not going to happen. Mm, that was close. No running, easy overtakes. Running onto that paint there. That, it isn't actually that slippy. But um, when you are on the throttle, it does make a difference. Yeah, it's going to be fascinating to see if anything actually changes as a result of Tyler Humphreys and Wilson Dilks. Hudson Cooper trying his best to get back into it it's the confidence that's what you need to get yourself back up the speed but he is getting there he's just gone a second and a half faster than lucas king in front of him so he is getting back on with it he's just got to rebuild he's got to get himself back to a decent position again as we follow further back i think that's harry rafferty he's going to be the first one to be lapped i think when they come around next time by he's got ollie o'gorman leo hams and ollie evitz in front of him but here comes Wilson Dilks trying to dive in up the inside of Tyler Humphreys. Job done. Wilson Dilks takes the lead. Tyler Humphreys coming straight back at him, though. Wow. Up towards Wilkins. Now he protects the inside line. Tyler Humphreys is going to dive back in for the inside of those years. No, you don't, says Wilson Dilks. If these two come together, it's championship game on. And here comes Frankie Watson. He knows that oh, these wow. two are going to struggle. He's got nothing to lose. So Frankie Watson's going to come straight at both of them. Excellent riding. And at the same time, Hudson Cooper has eaten up the road to Lucas King. So now he's wow. going to try and take fifth position. It's all change again. So Dilks is the leader on Tyler Humphreys. Humphreys is going to try and come back at him. So instead of losing five points to Tyler Humphreys, Wilson is going to gain five points back from him. That will bring the championship down from 32 points lead to 27 points lead. And it's just that little bit more achievable if you take that five yeah. points away. In terms of the mental game, taking those five points away from Tyler Humphreys is so important from Wilson Dilks in this race. It keeps him with the mental edge. Yeah, like you were saying, every single point is so important because you know like uh, Tommy Bridewell and Glenn Irwin, that one point that separated them oh. made such, do you know what I mean? Like, that I still think uh, that race you're talking about of Brands Hatch, I still think that's the greatest finish to any race in history. Never mind in motorbikes. That race will always live on in the memory, Bridewell versus Irwin. And this is slowly building to something similar to that if we keep going. Wilson Dilks and Tyler Humphreys very close together. It appears to be the last lap now. Yeah, I think we've run down the time, and that's why Frankie Watson has suddenly felt, you know what, you two might trip over each other. I might be able to steal a win off you now all of a sudden. Here comes the charge for Tyler Humphreys. Trying to dive in on Wilson Dukes. He knows it's the last lap, and he knows that Wilson's going to be a little bit cautious on this last lap he wants to defend. Can Tyler Humphreys have one more crack at Wilson Dukes up to the toe of the boot? Dukes is having to go defensive. Hudson Cooper's through in a fifth position. Now Joshua Herring is his next target, but he's going to run out of time. Can Humphreys get him out of the final turn? He's going to be very quick off the draw. It's, Dukes is going to get it. It's not. There was one more lap. Oh, now there was one more lap. lap. So now it's the last lap, in fact. 
So now Tyler Humphries has got one more chance of it. Yeah, the last lap board came out. I thought it was going to be the chequered flag. But in fact, the last lap board comes out now. Tyler Humphries trying to slingshot. The carrot there just catching up to Harry Rafferty. So that's going to be... Oh, they're going to swap ends. And it's Tyler Humphries going to be able to carry that round the far side. Wilson Dilks hangs on. My goodness. Tyler Humphries is now going to try and get the switch back across Wilkins to Ozias. Defensive tactics from Dilks. Humphries was ready for it. Okay, now they're on the back straight again. This will be his last opportunity. It maybe. is indeed. Frankie Watson is there in case something comes a cropper for them. Humphreys is doing everything he can. One final chance. Final hairpin. Checkered flag is there. And it's Wilson Dilks who gets it from Tyler Humphreys and Frankie Watson. What a final lap that was. And it's just three tenths of a second between the three of them. Dilks and Humphreys fist bump twice on the back straight what a battle Watson involved in it as well um, wow I am on quite soon so I'm going to go now <laughs> go for it Isabel thank thanks you thanks for being part of it I'll come back later see ya bye yep see you in a bit mate well done to the riders out there what a thrilling duel Wilson Dilks Tyler Humphreys Frankie Watson was separated at the flag by 0.398 absolutely astonishing three riders less than four tenths of a second of the flag hudson cooper given a second chance he bounces back to claim 11 points but it's 25 points for wilson dilks it's 20 points for tyler humphreys it's 16 points for frankie watson it really is game on for the three places in the world champs amazing absolutely amazing but it's Wilson Dilks who takes a crucial victory over Tyler Humphreys. And he needed to. The gap is down from 32 points to 27 points with three races and 75 points to go. This championship is still wide open. Wilson Dilks takes the win off Tyler Humphreys. Frankie Watson in third place. 0.398 between the three of them at the flag. Joshua Herring, fourth position ahead of Hudson Cooper, who fights back bravely to P5 after his fall on the formation lap. Lucas King, P6. Dan Stevenson, seventh. Take a bow, Ollie O'Gorman. Despite the fall, the restart, he manages to get there, and he finishes eighth. Ninth to Ollie Everts, tenth to Leo Hams, and Harry Rafferty is a couple of laps adrift. Chloe Gleeson doesn't start, nor did William Round or Max Robinson.